In this demonstration, we're going to look at configuring clusterware updating. This is a feature that allows administrators to update cluster nodes automatically with little or no loss in availability during the update process. During an update procedure, clusterware updating transparently takes each cluster node offline, installs the updates and any dependent updates, performs a restart if necessary, brings the node back online and then moves to update the next node in the cluster. What we're going to do at this point here is I've just come to one of my server machines and on this server machine what I want to do is just install my remote server admin tools. So we'll come to add roles and features. Then what we'll do is select our next button. Then what we'll do is go for role based or feature based and select next. We'll just select the server lon dc1. Just in the case of select server roles we'll just select next. And then what we'll do on the select features page is we'll just expand up our remote server admin tools. We'll expand up our feature admin tools. We'll scroll down, we're going to go for our failover clustering tools. Then what we'll do is we'll select next. We'll just select install. We'll pause the presentation, allow this to run and return back once the installation is complete. Installation is now complete, so we'll select close. Then what we'll do is we'll just come to our tools up the top here. And all we're going to do is we're now going to actually configure our clusterware updating. So we'll come to clusterware updating. We need to connect to our cluster, so we'll just put in the name of the cluster. We'll specify cluster 1 and we'll select connect. At this point here what we do is we'll just click on preview updates for this cluster. Now these virtual machines aren't connected to the internet, so at this point here we would run this in the real world. But as we don't have a connection, I'm not going to bother clicking on the button because there's no way to connect out to the internet. But what we will do is we will create or modify updating run profile. This point here we'll select close and what we'd actually do at this point here is we would now apply updates to this cluster. So what we'll do is we'll click on apply updates to this cluster. On the getting started page we'll just select next. Then what it brings us into is advanced options so we've just pulled in that policy that we've just created. We're not going to modify anything. We'll select next. In the additional options so we can give me recommended updates the same way as I receive important updates. Not going to bother we'll just select next. Then at this point here we'll just reel through our summary and then what we'll do at this point here is select update. And when we select update as it says here now cluster updating has started so when we close this wizard we can view the progress of the updating run on the main console. So we'll select close. So at this point here what's now going to happen is we'll update server 2 and then server 3. So as we can see scanning for the updates it's detected the updating run it will now go through and update the two servers. But that's the end of this demonstration of configuring cluster aware updating. Thank you.